So hi everyone who are watching the FK Live. Uh, myself Nikhilish, and here with me is our QT ambassador, and he's nine year old. Hello, Jeron. Hello. Hi. So how about you say hi to everyone else who's gonna watch on the FK Live? Hi, everybody. Okay, good. Cool. So excited? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm also very much excited. I heard like you know you just build a quiz up, right? Yes. Yeah. So what does it do actually? So it asks question and we have to answer it by clicking on one of the check boxes. Oh, cool, cool. So it will be literally helpful for like if school is conducting any uh, choose the best answer or something like that. It will be helpful for them, right? Yes. That's really nice. Looks like you're going to make an uh, this app for your school also. Will you make it? Yes. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay then, cool. Um, how about like you know you just show us uh, what that app does and everything, and how do we build that application and in which platform are we going to make? Okay. Okay. Okay, Jero. I think I'll just give you the presenter option so that you can do. It. Okay. Here you go. Okay. So this is how the application is going to look. Okay. So we have to click on one of these check boxes to answer. And if we give the correct answer, it makes the sound correct. But if we consider it wrong, it doesn't. It says wrong. So every answer, um, every question you answer right, you get one, uh, 100 points. So in the end, you get your points over here. Oh, that's so nice. OK, cool, cool. So this is the app which you want to show us how to build? Yes. OK, that's nice. So I'm really excited to look how this is going to work. So you have to click on, first you're going to have to go to code.org. Okay. You're going to have to click on create and app lab. So first we're going to start designing our code. So I'm going to change its name to quiz. And I'm going to add the items. So we're going to add in five labels and the checkboxes, we call it as radio button. Why, why do we add the labels and why do we add the quiz? How about you just tell that to everyone else who's listening, right? So that they also need to know, correct? Right? We add the labels like so that we can know which is which. Like if we add a label for the question, we can know if it's the question. like one plus one and other questions typically it is to display the questions and also the options that is why we are adding the label right yes so i'm gonna increase the text text boxes a little bit Okay, it looks like you are arranging your particular options and also the arrangement yes. so that it looks good, correct? Yes. So I'm going to keep it like this. So I'm going to change the ID for them now. So for the question, I'm going to give the ID Q. And for these radio buttons, I'm going to give them as A, B, C, D. Okay, which indicates which indicates option A, option B, option C. So why do you use these IDs for? So that while writing the code, it'll ask like the ID. 
check on event ID click. So we have to give which ID we have clicked. Or else if we just leave the IDs and do not rename them, you will get confused in, while choosing them. Like what exactly. is this label? Good, good, good. Exactly, because we'll get confused what ID did we give, whether if you just give, just say, label one, label two, label three, label four, we don't know which label is for what. So if you give the appropriate option A, option B, so we'll be comfortable, right? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to change the exposition. And for the text, I'm going to give it as the letter A, B, C, D, and T, which means text. And last, I'm gonna, lastly, I'm going to add and button, which I'm going to name as next queue, which means next question. I'm just going to take the text, I'm going to change its background color to blue. And if you want to make it curly, like the borders then you're gonna increase the border radius and I don't know how about you just increase your like you know can you just be a little bit louder okay like to increase like you make curly edges you need to increase the border radius so now i'm gonna add an icon to it so we're going to go to choose and click on icons and you're going to search next. You can take any one of these, but I'm going to take this one. So now we're done with the design and later I will add the score page. So now we're going to start our code. So I'm going to write in text. So First, we're going to vary, um, declare and variable called questions. Bracket. So if we give it in bracket, it means that it is an array. An array is like a variable that can store more than one uh, item. Exactly. Usually when we just declare a variable, it will be having only one item where it will just overwrite when it is filled. So if you want a list of variables, we need to use a array. array. Yeah. So we can rename this as anything we want. So I'm going to give questions. So we're going to give it inside and flower bracket to declare it. So the start um we're gonna write you which means question so question is an object and uh, it's like the question which is one plus one or something so since we it's an object we can give it inside quotes but we can give it even without quotes so question colon is and whatever the question or the ABCD is, you're gonna have to mandatory give it inside a quote one plus one. So, what now do we call it when we just give it inside a quote? We call it as a string, yeah. So, now I'm gonna give for a. A is going to be 11 and B is going to be the answer, which is 2. B is going to be 11, no, okay, 11, 110, 
and B, I'm going to give it as, hmm, I'm going to give it as 3. And last, we're going to give answer. Which is going to be B. So we can write it how much ever time you want. But I'm going to write two. And in the end, I'm going to add another two questions. So before starting a new line, you're going to have to give and come. So for this, I'm going to give 10 times 0. So A will be the answer 0. B will be a uh, hundred C will be one zero one and B will be twenty or and it So the answer is A. And now I'm gonna start by give, declaring two new variables. The first variable is going to be the score which is normally zero the second variable is going to be cql which means current question number so it is in zero default so in an array it starts the first line is counted as zero and the second line is one so it's like not like the third line is the third line it's the second line it counts it as starting from zero so, so could we just call that zero and one why this one zero one two three you have a particular name right it's like called an index Index, like yeah. zero, one, two. So now I'm going to declare a function called as show quiz, which shows the quiz, like the question and so show questions. So for this, we're going to give set text, which means it sets the text. So I'm going to start with Q, which is the question. As questions, questions, which is the variable, I get CQN, which is the current question number. Is zero or one dot q, which is the question. So let me just declare and let me just declare this and let me see if it works. So as you can see, it's showing right here one plus one. So I'm just going to move this here. And I'm going to copy paste this. So you click your mouse and you drag it by holding it. And you give a new line. It's for A, B, C, and B. So let me check if it shows all of them. Uh, you're on. I have a doubt oh. now. Uh, yes. You just give the same text, right? Yes. 
So as you can see, it's showing all of them and both. So now I'm going to code for this button right here. So we're going to take an event again. On event, next queue. Next. What is the next queue? Can you just uh, tell to us? The next queue is this button. So if you hover your mouse over this, you can see it over here. So it's showing next queue. Now we're going to program for like, you know, what happens when you click that button, correct? Yes. What so it goes to the next question. So I'm just going to copy paste this. And we're going to give CP1 plus plus, which means plus one. So there's three ways you can try CP1 plus one. First way is CQ1 equals CQ1 plus 1. So the second way is CQ1 plus equals to 1. And the third way is CQ1 plus plus. I'm going to be a CQ1 plus plus. So as you can see, when I click on the next question, it goes to the next question. But after I click this, it shows questions CQN is undefined. So now I'm going to go for this. That is because why it was showing like that? Why it was showing CQN was undefined? It's because there is like no second question. So I gave only two questions. So there's like zero, one, and two is missing. That's why it is CQ1 is undefined. So either we're gonna give. So either what we should do, either we should add more questions or. There is, we should give an if then else. So even if, even if we add so many questions, even after we click uh, all of these questions, it's still like. We're gonna, it shows that error. So we're gonna do the code for that. So if questions dot length variable dot length is equal than CQN, means CQN is smaller than this would happen else if it is we're gonna give like uh, we can give nothing here but i'm gonna give console.log and string as o so let me check if this works so as you can see after i click this it is over so now I'm going to code if the question, the answer can be right or not. So we're going to give a new function. We functioning as check answer. So if like this is going to be an if then else statement. So if let's check which means it gets the ID gift like if get checked A then this will happen. So I'm just going to copy this. So we're gonna get get check question CQN dot answer. So if get check question, which if it's zero or not, the number and dot answer. So if the answer is checked, then this should happen. 
So score plus equals to 100 or score equals plus 100. Then we have score plus equals to 100. So I'm just going to call this over here. I'm just going to cut this and give it um check if it is wrong i'm going to give it console.log as wrong so let me check if this works so as you can see i think it worked i'm just going to be able to be able to go over here you are unsure and as you can see so when I start, it's not it's zero, and when I give the correct answer, it's showing 100. If I'm giving the wrong answer, it's not working. So now, after I click now, it again shows the error. So I'm going to give you set screen. And here's where we're going to add the new screen. It's going to be the, the score page. So we're going to take two labels. And I'm going to make a, the size big. So I'm going to increase the size. 35 and if you want you can change the ID because even though we're not going to use it in the code. I'm just gonna change this to score and select score question A. Your score is your score is and let's increase this to 35 and I'm going to name this as core label so if I click 100 it goes like this uh, I'm just going to delete it and here but we don't want the final result to be displaying over there correct Yes, like the final score is going to show over here. So I'm going to be set. Score page. And the display over here in score label. Then give set text score label as score. So if you give it inside three uh, string, then it would show score. So let me show you. I give it inside string, if it's a quotes, it changes as score. But if I give it outside a string, then it shows the answer of the final score. So now I'm going to do it, I'm going to like, I'm going to code it if it can play the sound right or wrong. That I'm going to take play sound. Take play sound and choose it as you want the main voiceover as correct. And uh, for the wrong, here, here, and I'm going to set wrong. So let me check if it makes the sound. So if you're wondering what is this true and false, it is the loop. So if I give true, then it will keep doing the correct, correct, and it keeps saying it.
until I stop the code. So let me check if it makes the sound effect. So as you can see, it's making the sound effect. I don't think you can hear, but I will share the project in the end. So when you can see, as you can see, like whenever I go to the next question, it still has given it as in check. It still has checked B. And when I give like D, it still checks D. So for that, it's going to be an super cool. Can you give set checked? A as false. So when I do this, it unchecks it, but so for that, you give B, C, and let me check if this works so as you can see it unchecks it for b it does for c and d also it unchecks it so now as i said i'm going to add two more questions and I'm going to change the questions. So for this, I'm going to give 90 divided by 10 or 9. The first is going to be the answer, which is 10. The second one as 90. Third one as 9. And the fourth one, it's 909. The answer is 8. And now I'm going to give for the last one as D as the answer. So I'm going to give a subtraction for this. For example, 2 minus 1. The first will be 21. Second will be 12. The third one will be 2121. 2121. And the fourth one will be 1, which is the answer. So let me check if I can answer all of them right. So this is correct. This is correct. And you can see it works fine. So I'm just going to share this over here. Cool, I received your uh, quiz. Yes, I uh, sent Is it over? Hello? Yes. You know, this is done, that's it. Yes. Oh, can, you hear, can you hear? Can you hear? See, it's saying correct. Yes. Correct. Yes, it's saying correct. Right now. Yeah. Yes. Correct. That's it? Yes. Um, How about I give a quick immediate task for you so that can you just upgrade this app for me? Okay. So uh, yeah. I want to see my score live for each and every question, right? How much am I scoring? I want to see that live. Can you do it quickly? Okay. 
so it will be easy we have to add and label over here okay. and we have to make it large so we're going to name this as core label oops. core label How about we name, okay, you want to name it too. Okay, fine. Uh, you can just name it however you feel it is correct. Mm, what do you want? Like, I should I name it? Like, you know, display label, I mean, display score or something like that. It is okay. However you feel mm. comfortable, you can just start. Okay, I'll do it live score then. Ah, that sounds yes. better. Okay. And then we first do this as your score is you at the beginning and so we're gonna declare a new thing inside next queue so it's going to be set text set text okay. set text live score so instead of typing you can show the blocks and you can easily give it over here so live score okay as score so let me check if this works so it's first zero and now it's a hundred i think it's too small okay. Um, okay. make okay. it like your score is and score again. Your score, you know, the class two as your score is colon plus four. So Did now, what it will do? So if you give like under a string your score is colon and plus the score then like it would show like when you give a correct answer just like this. Like it. In short what it is typically doing is whatever you just given in the string it is being the stationary and only thing it is getting the data from the score alone. If you scored correct it just takes the data over there. A string will be just same. Right? Oh, yes. so this is what I exactly want. Okay, so uh, how about one more task if I give? Okay. This also, I believe you can do it easily. Uh, can you go? Can you go to the next screen? Let me see. Next question. Okay. Ah. Okay. Fine. So, uh, how about like example? Um, I was seeing over here the quiz which we just shared. If I want to again attend the same question, I am not able to do it. So, uh, okay. I want. Attend the question again. So, what can I do? So, I'm gonna have to add a an button. What button will be doing? I'm gonna add a an button. Yeah. What this button will be doing? Uh, it will reset all of them. Like, it'll reset the score and it'll go to the first question. Exactly. That's what I want. So. Then we need the restart. Is this good? Is this name good, sir? I'm sorry. Restart. Is restart a good name? Uh, how about we just give a logo or something like that, a symbol? Can you just press it? Just like a kind of a refresh button or something. Whatever we have for our. Uh... Okay. Should I keep the ID as restart? Okay, sounds good. So I'm gonna take restart. Oh, there's nothing called as restart. How about refresh? Refresh. Okay, there I gave refresh, and there's two options. I'm gonna take okay. this one. Yeah. Okay. And it's a very small code. And event. So on event, 
Let me start click. When equals to zero. It sets the current question number to zero. We're gonna show the quiz so that it can start. Because if you don't give show quiz, then it would be on the last question. And when you click on next, display this question like the first question one show. We give show me. And oh, oh show questions. And we give score equals to zero so that it can be started. I think this is. Uh, let me check if this works. So I'm going to go as two. So I click on restart. Oh wait. Um. Done. We give. We didn't give these. Screen as is one minute. I believe the internet is breaking. Can you speak a sentence? Just say hi, everyone. Um, Your voice was breaking, Jaron. Um, yeah, I think. Okay, okay. Now it is better. Now can you do it? Yeah. So can you just test it whether the reset button is working or not? Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a hundred score and I'm gonna restart it. I, so, uh, I didn't think the score reset it. Score is not resetting, right? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't reset. Yeah, so we I think take... the yeah the label okay. um we didn't give this set label exactly the label we didn't give right so I think it should work now so it's hundred now it's a zero it's that the live score because you uh, have saved it you have saved that in the score variable. You, we need to see, in order to display it, we need to update the label as well, right? Yes, yeah. that's why it did not like, it still showed like the 100. Oh, okay, okay, good. So, so I think the equipment is done. Yes, okay. so I'm gonna just save this and I'm gonna share it again. So I sent the link again. Okay. Thank you, John. This app is really cool. So I'm done with the whole quiz. Oh, it's really easy. It's a very easy thing to do. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you, John. Thank you very much. How about you just come back to the screen? Okay. Yeah, you can just stop share, sharing it, I believe. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for like, you know showing this wonderful app application. And uh, I believe we just completed the application exactly in uh, 40 minutes, right? I mean, you completed yes. your application in 30 minutes itself. I have just given you the additional task of like you know research and all this stuff. That's really nice. Okay. Yes. Cool. So now, what are the other, other application you have in mind or something? Um, I cannot hear. What are the other application? you have in your mind that you want to build can you share any couple of ideas 
a name name alone i want this application to do this and that um i'm thinking on making a game where like and ball uh, there's like two balls okay. one is like the evil ball and one is like the good ball so it falls down and every time we click on the good ball we get a uh, 100 score or if we click on the bad ball we get like minus a 100 score oh okay so both the ball will be bouncing on the screen and we need to we need to catch the only the the correct ball if you just click the wrong ball it just gives you negative points that's it it falls from it falls and then it uh, falls on and i i think it falls on the ground and then it just like disappears oh okay that's that's, that's a really nice application how oh, amazing okay jaran it's, it's it's really great and uh, i was really excited by seeing this application you know how you fit especially that you completed this application in uh, 30 minutes itself right yes yeah that's really amazing okay okay jano uh, it was very wonderful having you for the session uh, i want you to have for the future session as well okay see you then okay. bye uh, bye bye everybody Bye, bye everyone thank you thank you for uh, having us in this particular session you know? okay guys thank you thank you very much bye <laughs> even i also want to write how about you just turn uh, multi board screen okay i'll just choose some other color there bye everyone Okay, so looks like one of our friends also died in Jaden. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, it was really exciting. I think it's uh, time to end our session, right? Shall we end our session? Okay, bye everybody. Okay. Bye everyone. So I'm gonna end the session in three, two, one.